Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and on this channel I share all of my bike and travel adventures. Today I'm at my fifth day of my bikepacking trip from the Netherlands all the way to Copenhagen. And honestly, I'm getting a little bored at this point. I'm biking from Lübeck to Niendorf, which is around 60 kilometers. And although I have biked much more on some days, today feels like a really long day. So let's dive in. As I wake up, I see that I forgot to put my bike clothes inside my tent, which means that they are wet. Yep, a great start. While packing my stuff and putting on my wet outfit, I try to charge my phone and camera batteries a bit more. But this is also not really working out. Why? I have no clue. But as I don't want to wait for too long, I decide to take my stuff and jump on my bike. As the weather isn't that beautiful as some other mornings on my trip so far, and I'm still a bit cold of the night in combination with my wet outfit, I try to bike in a fast pace to warm up a bit. Then it's breakfast time and here I found a marzipan croissant which I of course, while leaving Lübeck, the place to be for marzipan, need to try. On the road I cross quite some road work and roundabouts like this one where you kind of join the cars. As this felt a bit weird, it was nice to see another biker do the same thing as this made clear that this indeed was the way to do it. And there was the city center of Lübeck again, where my back road led me through. And compared to the day before, when the sun was out, Lübeck now had a totally different vibe. Less cozy. Perhaps needing to climb up this hill contributed to that. Here you see a clear difference of a normal biker, an e-biker and me, a loaded biker. But that's fine, I will get there. And after some climbing in my steel wet outfit, I left Lubick behind me. Some grey skies later I enter Warsaw and short after I again bike in some forests and other nice landscapes. However they are beautiful, I must say that at this point of my trip everything started to look a bit the same. Every landscape and every village. Time for a short snack break in the middle of nowhere. And yes, back on the road. And as the sky stayed grey, my mood was also a bit greyish. My body felt good, but I wasn't really enjoying everything as I was at the start. Although the weather was fine and the ride went well. I crossed Dasso and Welsin and honestly nothing really excited me anymore. I can clearly say that I was a bit bored during my bike trip. Mm -hmm. 
Then I came across Roadworks, which felt like a small adventure to get through it. A bit later, I found a spot to have lunch and chill for a moment. At this point, I didn't have that many kilometers left, but it still felt like I had a long way ahead of me. The day just felt like a super long day. Back on the bike, I encountered these beautiful horses, with which I initially had a staring contest from a distance. And after some discussing, they decided to take a closer look at me, which I really loved. <laughs> I guess this moment made me again realize why I love bikepacking so much. Traveling through nature on such a slow pace allows me to again enjoy these small moments of happiness. And I think that feeling bored is also a really good experience to have, as not being entertained the whole day like in daily life really helps to see these small moments and appreciate them more. And being bored is for me also a state where I can reflect on my thoughts and emotions and can be more creative, as in daily life there's always so much going on the whole time. So from here on I started to appreciate it more, to feel bored sometimes. Some moments later I entered Wollenberg, which was a place very close to my campsite for the night, which was in Niendorf. Encountering Niendorf, I crossed this lovely beach where I wanted to take a look, which ended up being quite a bumpy adventure. But the viewpoint at the end was worth it. Not long after, it started to rain a bit. But then I also entered Niendorf shortly after. And that meant that I had reached my campsite for the night. After checking in, I biked to my spot and then I decided to first take a shower, as the weather forecast said it would be dry in half an hour. So I took a shower in this beautiful sanitary building and afterwards I could set up my tent while it didn't rain. Which, believe me, is much better than setting up your tent in the rain. Especially when the rain stops right after you pitch your tent. Then I wandered around a bit at the campsite, whereby I discovered this laundry spot, which I will use the next day. And then the sun started to show herself. I decided to go for a walk on the beach, as it was super close to the campsite. And here I spent the afternoon enjoying this beautiful view. At this moment, I felt so grateful for the adventure that I was on, and I could really again appreciate all the feelings that I'm facing on this solo trip. Which are also sometimes unpleasant feelings, like feeling bored and a bit lonely today. As I learned so much about myself going through these emotions and thoughts. After watching the sunset, I went looking for food as I didn't have anything with me and there weren't any supermarkets close by. 
And luckily I found this cute restaurant close to the campsite where I had a lovely dinner. As I had been writing about my trip today, it had gotten very dark outside and that let me know that it was time to go to bed. So that was it for this video. In the next episode, I'm having a rest day where I'm gonna explore the surroundings a bit more and I'll show you some of the challenges of bikepacking. It's gonna be fun. So thank you all for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And then I'll say, see you in the next one. Bye.